We're standing in the square outside of the Church of Sant'Antonio in Padua, looking across a traffic circle at Donatello's great equestrian monument from the mid-15th century, Gattamalata. Donatello had spent a good deal of time in Rome, was up in Padua for about 10 years, and worked on a number of important commissions. But this is clearly his most famous. And it's important to note that Donatello was twice in Rome because he got to see the great equestrian sculpture of Marcus Aurelius. This is really important. I think it's a little bit difficult for us to understand how extraordinary that ancient sculpture sculpture must have seemed. You know, by the late medieval and the beginning of the Renaissance when Donatello is alive, you have a culture that had forgotten how to cast bronze at a large scale. In other words, they could look at a sculpture from antiquity that they couldn't make anymore. That certainly seemed like a challenge. And Donatello took up that challenge. Can we a thousand years later, make a monumental bronze sculpture, an equestrian sculpture. Well, an equestrian sculpture is especially difficult. Just look at the Gattamalata for a moment. You have this mass of horse. You have this mass of the human body. And all of that rests on four slender legs. And to show off, you would want to raise one of the legs of the horse, as the sculptor did for Marcus Aurelius. And Donatello was clearly ambitious and wanting to do that, but he didn't go all the way in that direction, and instead